Hey, everybody, how are you? <coughs> Figures. As soon as, I, as soon as I start the video, I start coughing, right? Bear with me for a second. I'm going to tag some people, share the video. I've been sick. Sorry, I haven't been on this week. I've been sick. Figures, I start coughing as soon as I get on video. But bear with me. I'm going to tag some people and get some people coming in here, right? Hold up. Just tagging away. Hope everybody's doing good. I've been sick. My stomach's been a little messy for the past week. Oops, I just tagged somebody I don't want to tag, but... Um, and in a minute, I'm going to get started. I wish they just had a tag all thing, you know, so you can just go tag all, tag everyone. <laughs> just bear with me here. How's everybody doing? Just tagging some people, so just bear with me here. Um, just trying to get some people in here. And I think I'm good for now. If you have anybody that you would like to tag, please do so. We'd love to have them in here. Uh, let's see who else someone in here. Or do I want to invite anyway? Let's see. And how y'all doing? I'm gonna get started in a second. I'm gonna be doing some metaphysical products and going over some products and showing you like how you could use them and and how uh, they can benefit you in your life. So stick with me. And also, if you share and tag a friend, I will enter you into a free drawing for a free product. So please do, and then type shared. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Walter. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Billa. How is everybody? How are you? <laughs> I'm glad you guys came in. It's nice to see everybody. I've been sick, so I, I haven't been feeling good all week. So today's the first day I'm live. I'm going to be going over some metaphysical products. I got some great new products in stock. And I want to uh, uh, show them to you. Not only just show them to you, but I want to tell you how they can help you in your life and help you increase your spirituality and raise your energetic vibrations and let go of things that no longer serve you in in this life so um you know uh i i'm looking forward to it and and i'm actually this is something new that i'm starting so if you guys bear with me i'm kind of you know figuring it out as i go along um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a product. Just say I have, uh, I'll, just for example, I have a fluorite crystal, okay? Good, Michelle, good. I'm glad to hear that. Hello, Anna, how are you? Just so, you, just so everybody knows, I'm going to hold a product up. I'm going to tell you about it, and I'm going to give it a number, okay? If somebody is interested in that specific product, all you have to do is type the number into the comments, okay? So just say I show you this, and I say this is number 44. Hey, Jules, I'm glad you came. <laughs> just say I, I show you a, a crystal, I'll say number 44. If there is a specific color that you need. Hello, John, thanks for coming in. Please share the video on your wall and type in and tag a friend. And then type in that you shared the video in comments 
and I will enter you into a free drawing. I'm giving away a box of incense today. So I'll, I'll be given a box of, um, I'm not sure what kind yet. Probably Dragon's Blood Incense, 20 pack. So yeah, so please share, share the video. Thank you, Michelle. I'm gonna enter you in. Let me get my little can here. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna give giving um giving away some incense and I also have some cool crystals I'm gonna show you and some really cool tools that you can that people can work with. You can work with anybody can work with, you know. So Michelle So yeah, so if you guys share it and tell hey miss, how are you, Missy? So if you share the video, tag a friend in there, in in, in the share, and um, then um, type shared into the comments, then uh, I will know and I'll enter you in to a, hi Missy, it's good to see, I, or here I don't see you, but you see me, but <laughs> it's good to see you here anyway, I'm glad. I'm here every week, so, on live. Um, so I'm going to be going over some metaphysical products, different things, different crystals, different items. I'm going to give them a number. Okay. If you're interested, hi Ruby, Rubyette. I'm hoping I'm said, I hope I said that okay or correctly. Rubye, Rubye. Um, I'm doing good, miss. I'm doing good. A lot better than I was a few years back. That's for sure. Yeah, I live over and I, I got another house. I won't say it. Uh, Rubier. Oh, oh, okay. It's not. Thanks for coming, Rubier. Um, but I'm doing good. We'll have to we'll have to catch up off video. It's because I moved from Turnersville, so. Yeah, definitely call me without a doubt. I'll 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 private message you my number, so you can call me. But um, anyway, I'm going to give, like, I'll show you a product just so everybody knows. I will give it a number. If you are interested in that specific product, just type the number in to the comments, and I will put you down for that. I will send a PayPal invoice to you. You do not need to have a PayPal account to pay the invoice. You just pay it with a debit credit card, however you want to do it, okay? Um... So let's get started. So let me just start showing you. And again, uh, I don't know if anybody new came in, but if you share and tag a friend, uh, just type share into the comments and I will enter you in to, to win a free box of incense. Hi, Erin. How are you? I'm glad you came in. So what I want to do is I want to start with some a, a few little items, okay? I don't know if everybody's, whoever is, is um, uh, familiar with them, but I'm still gonna talk as if you've, uh, hi. I'm gonna talk as if you never, you, you never even heard of the thing before. So for the people that don't know, okay? So I have two different styles here, okay? These are cauldrons, okay? So this is, this is a cast iron cauldron. It's it's a tiny little cauldron. It's so cute though. It's like you know, hey, you know, start stirring your witch's brew, you know. <laughs> so this is a cast iron cauldron, and this is I believe this is just like a, a metal. Okay, now you can see the difference in size. Okay, but they both do the same thing. It really depends on what you want to use it for. Okay, so I want to give. The cast iron cauldron is going to be number four. Okay, if anybody's interested in one, just type in number four in the comments, okay? And then the the metal one is going to be number seven. Okay, miss, I got you. I'm entering you in. Erin, if you share and tag a friend, share the video and tag a friend in it, I enter you went to win, in to win a free box of incense. Okay. So, back to the cauldrons, okay? These are all these are used for a couple different things. Sure. I got my price list here. 
Um, I, okay, so the three inch, this is a three inch uh, cast iron. It's fourteen ninety five. Okay, this is where this has a lot of weight to to them. Okay, these cast iron and they last for so long. Okay, um, this one actually has a Celtic uh, design on it, a Celtic emblem, and this one is eighteen ninety five. Now this one is much bigger. I believe this is a four and a half inch. Okay, hi Danielle. Okay, so again, number seven is the is the bigger one. Number four is the smaller one. What you do with these, and I'm going to show you something else I have. There's a couple different ways you can use them. You can use them to, like, if you were going to do spells in it or any kind of rituals, I would recommend the bigger one because you're going to drop different things in them, especially if you're doing, like, a fire spell. You want something that's bigger is going to hold it, okay? Because a lot of times if you do, like, a fire spell, you're actually burning away what you no longer want or what you're asking spirit for okay so what you want to do is you want to you could drop a piece of paper in here with some herbs okay i don't have any loose herbs up here. oh yes i do so again and i have little um jars of um herbs okay this one is actually for purification and cleansing away negative and this is, uh, I believe this is eight ounces. I have to double check the size of this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double check the size of this one. Um, but this is the herb. So what you would do, and this is, I'm just gonna do an example. So say you take the herbs, okay? You take in the herbs. Hi, Keith. And you would put them in. You know, I'm just gonna do a little bit. You put them in here. Do, do your spell or your ritual, your affirmation, your prayer. Listen, a lot of people hear spell and they go, <gasps> you know, it's just intention. A spell is just intention. So whatever words that may feel uncomfortable to you, please substitute what, you, what feels comfortable to you within my words. I use different words. A ritual, a spell, what you're doing is you're placing, you're basically symbolizing your intention. So don't go get scared off when you hear somebody's doing a spell or, you know, I mean, of course, unless it's negative, then, you know, you don't want to ever do anything negative. You don't want to ever do anything dark or black magic. But whenever you're doing any type of ritual, all you're doing is you're putting your intention out there and you're giving it to the universe, Okay. So that's basically what these are for, okay? So these are, again, they're called cauldrons or incense burners, okay? So you can actually do a spell. You could put your herbs in there, okay? And then you could do your paper or whatever, and you can see how deep it is. So it's a nice, it's a nice size, this one, that one. I, I, if I was going to get one, I probably, unless I was just using it for something like to burn like a, 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 a wand in and I'll show you that in a second I would probably go with the bigger one only because I like the size of it you know and you could do more with it so you wouldn't have to double but a lot of people have both you know they like to cast iron too so what you would do is I'm going to open one of these up okay and I'm going to show you these and give these isn't that nice Jewel I have I can like I have multiple of these these I, I'm showing you, I got I got in stock so I could show you them live. But I can order pretty much anything, anything metaphysical I can special order. So I'm very open to custom orders as well, okay? So then you would take, this is what, this is a blue sage smudge stick, okay? This is actually a four inch blue sage smudge, okay? So, let me open it up. And I'll show you. So what you would do is, in the little one, okay, you can actually light it and go around. And I could show you that in another video. I could show you how to sage, uh, how to cleanse a space. And then you could sit it in here and just let it burn. So that's, like I said, it's really up to you what, you, what you're going to use for, use it for. Thinking for fall with a dragon's blood candle, three wick. Oh, that would be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. I can get I can get all that stuff for you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing them different different types of things. I'm trying to figure out a lot like as I go on. So please, if there's anything that you're interested in learning about, please type it in the comments because I want I want to I want you guys to to like it. You know, I'm not gonna do stuff that I like. I mean, of course, I like it all. You know, <laughs> so, I mean, I got crystals, herbs surrounding me everywhere, crystals behind me. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, you know, anything that you guys are interested in, please type it in the comments, because I, if I don't have it now, I'm happy to bring it on, you know, in a future in a future video. And this way I could show you about it and teach you about it, because what I always say is that it's not about the products, okay? It's about what the products can do for you and how they can help you in your life. That's my biggest purpose to doing this. Okay, yes, of course I'm selling it. Yes, of course it's my business. But my purpose is to show you how to use them and how they can help you in your life. And these are a great way to put your intention out there, to put what you want, your desires out there, to get rid of negative energy, you know, and I mean, I can, I can write any kind of intentions or spell for you, a ritual. I can write it up. So everything that I show you has a purpose, a higher purpose to it. Not just trying to sell you something, trying to teach you about it. Teach you how they can, how the product can help you. And again, it's not about the product. It's about what the product can do for you. Okay, so I want you to really stress that. I want you guys to know that. Okay, so again, this is number seven. Oops, the Celtic. I also have a couple other symbols I can get on here. I have to see which ones. Do you miss? All right, I, I can come over and help you. And then the cast iron is number four. Okay. Or you could just type in the cauldron. I don't know. That's what I said. I'm working out the kinks. So it might be easier just to type in um, the actual item without giving it a number. You know what I mean? So, like I said, bear with me. I'm working out the kinks. This is something new that I'm doing with my my own products because I do paparazzi. A lot of you guys know that. And I sell paparazzi, which you could tell because I have it behind me. And, by the way, I got some new cool jewelry in. So if you guys liked it, like $5, Missy, 5 bucks. And you get uh, earrings and necklace, and the, the jewelry is beautiful. But I do that on, excuse me, Tuesdays and Fridays. And the metaphysical is Mondays and Thursdays. And then free tarot card readings on Wednesdays. Okay? And you can see it on my business page. So, Blue Sage. Okay? Blue Sage, I got with Sage all over the place. I'm going to have to put it into my thing. To my thing to burn. I love it. It smells so good. Mm, mm. This has a very distinct smell to it. I actually never smelled blue sage like this. It kind of, it's different. It's a little different than the regular sage. But blue sage is very good for cleansing. Okay. Of course, any kind of sage is very good for cleansing. There's specific sages that um, do different things. Okay. So, I just want to see if it says anything on here. Nothing. Yeah, it's yeah. I didn't know if, if Blue Sage had anything. Hi, Luana. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Dwayne. What are you doing, Dwayne? Um. So Blue Sage, Sage Wands. This is six dollars each. Okay. And again, you burn them. Just how I show you, you light the end and you wave them around the house. You wave them in your space. You can sage yourself, sage yourself to cleanse your energy. Okay? So there's a lot of different things you can do with sage. Uh, most of the time, it's to cleanse the space. Or you also can cleanse prior to doing a ritual or a spell. So you can cleanse your space, which is good because... but. When, hi, Nicole. Hi, Sarah. Oh, I said hi. I saw you, Sarah. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> um, always, 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 if you cleanse a space, always refill it with positive energy. 
You do not want to leave space empty because then any kind of entity or negative energy can come along and fill it, okay? And me, I'm a psychic medium for anybody that doesn't know me already. I'm a psychic medium, so I work with these things all the time. So always, always, always fill the empty space. If you cleanse a space, always refill it with positive energy and positive intentions. Don't want to leave space empty, okay? Okay, so that is number 44. Okay, Blue Sage, number 44. All right. So, I have something else that's really cool, and a lot of people love this. This is Palo Santo. Okay, and they're like wooden, it's wooden sticks. They call it the Holy Wood. And I'm just reading it back. It says, it's similar to frankincense, myrrh, and copal resin incense it removes negative energy drives away mosquitoes and insects and disinfects the air and you can use it for relaxing the mind body and spirit okay now this pack is bear with me while i'm checking the prices six pack is 8.95 which is pretty, really good price, actually, because these things can be really expensive. You would be shocked how expensive they are. But these can be burned outside in the summer, which is great because it dries away mosquitoes. And it smells good, and you're cleansing the air at the same time. So you're cleansing the space, okay? I'm not going to give it a number. I think I'm just going to stick with the, the product name. I don't think the numbers are necessary for this because the products are different. Um, very, very different. So just if you are interested in something, um, just type in the product name and um, the quantity. If you want, you know, if there's multiple, uh, how many you wanted. And this way I can um, put you down. And then again, I'll send you a PayPal invoice after the, the video. And you do not need PayPal to, to use it. This one, oh, this, the, the Palo Santo is $8.95, Mom. Yeah, for the, for the whole pack. Okay. So, let me grab something else. <clears throat> then we have, I also have chime candles. I don't have any chime candles up here. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I thought I had the chime candle holder. This is actually, this is actually incense burner. This is $3. I think this is, th yeah, this one is $3. Okay. It's just a star and you use it for cone incense. Okay. And it has the little, you can see the little dip there. Okay. So that's something else that you can use with the incense. I wanted to show you the other smudge stick since we're on an herb kick here. Okay. Then also have an herb grinder. Now we all know what this is for, right? Grinding herbs. <laughs> Legal herbs. <laughs> That's what it's for. It's an herb grinder. Just busting on you. Okay. So it's very small, compact. Okay. Put the herbs in to the thing and just... Twist around. <laughs> you like that, Joel? <laughs> and then you just grind them up, okay? So it makes it into like a powder. Great for using for spells. Great for using for marijuana. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people use them for weed. Okay? <laughs> so it's a great little thing. Um, price. I don't have a price on this right now. They're inexpensive. I'm sorry. I didn't have this one on my list. But I can get you a price and I'll type it if anybody's interested. Is it? Uh, really? Yeah, it was for your sage. You, <laughs> Michelle, it's legal in Canada. Oh, I think you told me. Did you tell me that? I think you might have told me that the other day when we were talking. But uh, I don't know. It's not. I don't know what the hell they're waiting for. It's it's only another damn herb, you know. 
Oh, really, officer? It was for my sage. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> really? <laughs> But yeah, I'll get to, I'll type the price of this in uh, in the comments afterward. But um, it, like I said, they're not really expensive. Hey, Kim. All right, let's see what else I got here. Let me put my stuff back in the box here so I don't get a mess. I have some really cool altar cloths too. And you're not here. That was good. Hey, that was good for not drinking. Oh, wait, I was getting to the sage. This is California white sage, okay? And these are single sticks, so they are five or six of sticks. Let me see. They're six of stick, too, okay? Six of stick. Six of stick. Okay, this is the most common one used. Love, love, love this stuff. I could burn this stuff forever. Okay, it's from the coastal mountains of California. Sage is one of the sacred herbs among indigenous American people. The clean burning sage is used in the energy cleansing ritual known as smudging. And that's what they're called. They're called smudge sticks. Okay, or smudging wands. And you do the same thing. You can actually use these with the cauldrons or the, the incense burners and sit them in there and burn them. Okay, these are great. They... Um, I think next next video I do, I'm going to teach you how to cleanse your space. And I'm just going to have to take you through it because I'm on my iPad now, but I'll have to do it on my um, my phone so I can take you around the room and show you. <laughs> I think that's something really important to know because not, not a lot of people know how to sage properly. And you can burn it in a room. Yes, it's cleansing the space, but if you have any kind of creepy critters hanging out in your house, like spirit-wise... There's a certain way you have to sage to make sure they're gone, okay, to make sure you remove them. So, um, I think that's going to be a good video. I think that's a good idea to show you that. Okay, so that one is white sage. Now, this is the same price, six bucks. I think six bucks. Let me see. Mountain sage of dragons. Yep, six bucks. Okay. These actually have dragon's blood on them. So, these are actually mountain sage with dragon's blood. So, okay, Michelle, I will, definitely. I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that next on Monday, I think. I might do that. Um, but these are these have uh, dragon's blood on them, okay? Resin, it's a resin or, or a, another, an incense, okay? And dragon's blood smells so good. And that's the incense I'm giving away. So if everybody shares the video and types share, they get entered to win them. Only got two people in so far, so there's a big chance of winning. Um, so these have dragon's blood, okay? Gathered from mountains, the smudges and herbs are purified, are known to purify places, objects, and people. So you light over, you light the smudge as you burn the herbs to purify any surroundings or simply enjoy the wonderful scent of aroma. Okay, that's dragon's blood. That's per stick, $6 per stick, okay? So that is that part. Now these are, um, these are, are uh, hi Shannon. These are herb jars, okay? These, I usually make these up and I'll mix specific herbs for a specific thing. So like I said, for example, this one is for purification, cleansing, and uh, cleansing negative energy. So I have them for health, I have it for attracting love, attracting money, all different blends of herbs. So this way, you don't have to go through whatever you, uh, you know, whatever you're doing. You don't have to go through and say, oh, I need herbs for this, which ones do what. I got it done for you already, okay? These are really nice. I think these are about eight bucks. So I'm going to go with eight bucks, okay? So the spell jars, I mean, the herbs, herb jars are eight dollars, okay? Then, I have something even better, okay? These are the bags of herbs that you get in my herb boxes, okay? They're two by three bags. This is a bundle. This is actually a spell kit, okay? I call it a spell bundle or a ritual bundle, okay? What it has, it has, you get six herbs 
that that do and again specific specific reasons specific intentions for health let me see i have it written down it's a money and abundance attract love resolve family matters increase creativity increase your psychic awareness increase your spirituality uh protection purification good health and cleansing or uplifting you know cleansing negative energy yeah isn't that a great idea yeah i sell i'll tell you what i sell on my etsy store i also have a full line of products on my etsy shop if you want to take a look that's the link is in the description it's www.sweetearthherbs.com but these are actually uh spell bundles okay so what i do is i give you 10 different candles okay and you get six, uh, six different herbs, and you also get a small bag like this of salt. So basically, and then what I'm doing is, uh, is I'm adding in a, a little scroll into these bundles. So this way, you only have to, to and, and instructions. So basically, you have everything you need, instructions, including the spell, and it's $25 for everything. All you need is something to burn it in, is a heat proof uh, jar, a heat proof uh, dish. Okay, these are great. These are tw again $25. You get 10 candles, two, four, six, two of each color, I believe it is two, four, six, eight, ten, two of each color, and then six um, herbs and a bag of salt. Okay, so you have every actually, you have more than more than enough for more than one spell one time because usually when you want to when you do some kind of spell or do some of intention you always want to do it a couple times because you not only want to it, it what it does for you is it empowers you okay when you when you start doing things like this okay like spells or rituals again their intention don't don't let the words scare you away that's all they are are you putting your intention out there you're putting out the energy that you want or don't want something okay and that's that's all you're doing when you do a spell so again don't let the words scare you okay these are one i have another one another type and i don't have one up here because it's an it's actually a jar Okay, and then what you do is you get with this, uh, oh, there's a the salt, see there's a the salt right there. But you get two can, it's another, it's for a specific uh, theme or, or intention. And you get two candles, you get the, the spell, and you get um, six herbs and salt. And you also get a couple crystals with that one. So, and that's in, in, in like a, um, just a little, um, mason jar. Okay. Like a 16, a 12 or 16 ounce mason jar. And it's all packed into that. And that's really nice because then you have the jar where you can refill it. You know, you can literally refill it and have it ready. Like if you wanted to get your things ready, your spells ready, or you want to just to separate stuff. It's really nice because you have the jar too. And that again, that's 25 as well. Okay, but I love this. I'm trying to see. This is the six. Make sure this is the six herbs. Yeah, it is six. Okay, and the, and the salt. But yes, this one has the multiple candles with it, which is different, and it does not have the crystals, where the other one has the crystals and only gives you a couple candles. So it's giving you everything that you need. So basically, you will use every single thing you get in that jar where you might have leftovers here. Okay. Another way to purify, okay? It looks like the theme today is purification, which I like. I like purification. <laughs> this is a great way to purify, okay? And I'm going to see if I can get it up close so you can see it. This is a purification cleansing, sage cleansing spray, okay? This is actually has a, um, not, it has essential oil, sage essential oil, but it also has the um, tincture, couldn't think of the name. The tincture, which is made with the actual herb. So, just say you don't, somebody's allergic to something, you can't burn herbs, or somebody does, is sensitive to the smells. You basically get the spray and just go around the room and, and um, you know, uh, 
cleanse, and you can cleanse this way as well. Say you have an item. You know, a lot of items are have spirits attached to them, especially like when you get them yard sales and things like that. You know, so you never know. So, and this is something that I, I usually do is if some I get something from a yard sale or somebody gives me something and I'm a big thrift person. I love thrifting, okay? So, and yard sales, I, I just love them. I feel like I, I can get so much, you know, for, for a dollar, you know? <laughs> so, um, I always cleanse the item. Always, 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 whether I'm saging it or spraying it. This spray is actually a four ounce bottle and this is $15, okay? This spray. By the way, everything is 10% off. I forgot to tell you that, it's in the description. Everything on Facebook Live on Thursdays is 10% off on the metaphysical. So everything I'm telling you, you get 10% off, okay? Totally forgot about that, I put it in the description, forgot to tell you at the beginning. So yeah, so that's a purification spray, okay? Smells really good, though. Love it. it. Smells really good. Let's see. So I make these wands, okay? These are really cool. I, I hand create these, okay? These can be used for many different things. A lot of people use them for Reiki, for Reiki healing, energy healing. Okay, I'm trying to get the feathers out of the way. It looks like I'm brushing her hair. <laughs> um, this actually is a tiger's eye. This one has an enhancer on here, which is, that's what this one is. This is called an enhancer crystal when, when one is with the other. And that is a clear quartz crystal. Then it has natural, um, hi Rich. This has um, natural, um, uh, shell okay so basically your fingers like when you hold it your fingers sit right in there perfectly hi Elijah okay and these can also be used these are $40 okay um, again I hand create everything the wood is branches that I find around in the woods and I sand them down and brush them up and shine them up okay this is all hand created Okay, each one has a story. Each one has a specific theme because when I'm making it, I get this story of what it's for and how it's going to help somebody. Okay, so they all are all um, a, they all have a certificate of authenticity as well as like a story that comes with them, and they're forty dollars, which is very inexpensive because I usually sell them for usually sixty five or more. Okay, because of the fact that they're handcrafted. And um, it will also have a copper penny on the bottom because copper increases the energy of the crystals and also is very grounding. So, this is one. This is the, uh, the I call this one the Tiger's Divine. Okay, Tiger's Eye, Clear Quartz Enhancer, Natural Shell. This one is a mukite jasper this one reminds me of a country boot isn't that cool that's what this one reminds me of of a country boot it's like these boots are made for walking so what are you trying to get rid of okay you're gonna use this wand to do it trying to get rid of something and it's a mukite jasper you can see how pretty that is. It's got some cool colors in it. And this is all natural shell crushed up. And again, this is mother of pearl shell over here. Okay, and this is beaded over here. And this is a thicker one. Again, I'll have penny on the bottom. Oh, look, a little, little dude on the bottom there. This is a more, a little bit more simple one. Sparkly. Okay, and it has this the, the shells. These are car carnelian. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got you. Um, hi, Lorraine. Oh. Oh, you told her. Oh, you told her. Oh, okay. Cool. So you told her about me, Miss. Yeah, I think I got you, Miss. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did put you in. Yeah. 
So, and Lorraine, if you share the video, um, I can um, just type share into the comments. And I'll enter you to win um, a, a free box of incense. Dragon's Blood Incense. Okay, this one has is tied with rope. Okay, and this has a blue satellite crystal, which is great for speakers, for people that want to open up their throat chakra. Okay, these also can be hung on the wall. Which one? This one? Michelle? Or the big thick one? The boot? This is the boot. Who you want to give the boot to? <laughs> give me the boot. <laughs> Thanks, Lorraine. I appreciate it. So, um, this one, if this one you were talking about, this, this kind of does remind me of a flute. Uh, if that's the one you're talking about. But this one, yeah, this one is um, really cool. Carnelian. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Yep. Yep. I love this because, you know, the branch is like kind of like shaped, like curved. I just think it's so cool. Again, as carnelian uh, beads. Okay. These are all natural gemstone chips. You could see all the different colors of chips that's in there. Hi, Ricardo. And then a blue satellite, which is great for the throat chakra, opens up your speaking, opens you up to your purpose, okay? Speaking, writing, authors, things like that. Let's see which other ones I got here. This one has turquoise and an ocean jasper. Thanks, Lorraine. I'll enter you in. Lorraine. Okay. Thank you, Lorraine. I put you in. Hey, Tams. So this one is, this has an ocean jasper. Let me make sure it's an ocean jasper. Yes, that's an ocean jasper. Whoops. You can see how cool it is. It's got really cool, like, sparkles in it. And it's got, like, green moss type looking. Really cool. Really cool stone. I love ocean jaspers. Then it just has simple beads uh, decorated on the top. And it has a different color bead. It looks like they're actually missing, but they're not. There's other beads underneath of it, which is, gives it a little bit of a different look. Whoop, there goes the bead. Then it has turquoise going down. And then is wrapped with the rope handle and a, and a coin on the bottom. A coin will go on the bottom of all of them for grounding. Okay? So again, these are all 40. Oh, it has an enhancer stone as well. That has an enhancer clear crystal quartz, which enhances the, the major stone. Great for Reiki healing, energy healing, um, finding, you know, just any kind of divination that you use. And or just hanging for decoration on the wall. They're really cool. You get just two hooks like here and here and then just sit. it sits in the, in the wall like that. Really cool. I have one more wand I want to show you and then I'm going to show you, then I'm going to show you some crystals. Um, actually I got a couple bracelets I want to show you and then I want to show you some crystals. This one I call the, uh, rainbow bridge. I, I call it because when I made it, I felt like this was a bridge. Okay. These are all opal over here. These stones here. They're all little opals. These are blue satellite stones the little the round ones and this is a hematite okay and this is what they call the mirror to the soul a hematite stone because of the fact that it literally is similar to a mirror when you look at it, it has like a mirror reflection so a hematite they say that a hematite stone will show you your true self will show you who you are because it's the mirror to the soul. So it's going to see past the ego and past all the schmegma that we have covered up in our lives. And it's going to show us. And that's why I called it the rainbow bridge. I felt like this was like a bridge. And if you follow the little stone, the blue ones, it kind of made a path. Okay. Like a stone path. Then here you have gold. And as soon as you crossed the gold, or the golden bridge, even though I should have named it, right? <laughs> the gold, you get into the the other uh, three 
three stones here, which is the three parts of yourself or the three parts of self, and you're saying your soul. So that's why it reminded me of a bridge, you know, if that makes any sense. And then again, these are sapling branches, and I hand sand them and make them myself and shine them all up. And I can customize any kind of wand, too, if you're looking for a specific type of um, stone or looking for it to do something specific. I have no problem. I can custom custom make things like that. So I have all the uh, everything I need to make them. So let's get on the crystals, okay? So I have some lava bracelets. And I love, love, love these lava bracelets because of the fact that you can put the essential oils on them. And they are basically like aromatherapy. Okay. The lava bracelets are... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. right there looking nine bucks <laughs> sorry it took me a second to find it <laughs> these are nine dollars each okay and this is a seven chakra lava bracelet so the dark ones are the lava bracelet are the lava beads and you can actually put the the sense, uh, the essential oil drops onto the lava beads and it holds the scent for however, depends on how many drops you put on there, but it holds the scent on there. So you can go around and you have that scent with you all day. Say you're at work and you're feeling a little stressed. You would put lavender or chamomile or something like that on the, the beads, um, the lava beads, and you would have that scent to help you relax all day. You can also use a fragrance oil. Okay, which is they have designer fragrance oils. So say you wanted to use Tommy Girl or, or you know, or, you know, Armani Geo or whatever, because I have some of these oils. You can actually put them on here too. So you actually have that scent with you too. And it's giving you the seven chakra beads, which is allowing you to help, uh, is, is helping you balance your chakras at the same time. Okay. So that's one one style I have. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. Every time I move, my, my thing is shaking. So I actually have two of these next ones in stock. I just loved I thought these were so cute. They actually have the, the, um, the pendant. Okay. Again, these are, this is $9. Okay. I'm trying to get this tag out of the way. These are rose quartz. You could see they're pink once I hold my hand up to them. Okay, it has the lava beads at the top, and then it has a pendant down here, which actually is a little locket where you hold, it holds the um, the, the thing to scent. The, uh, I'm actually I'm not sure if it's a piece of, uh, let's open it up and find out. See what's in here. I think it's one of those pads. Oh, no, it's lava. It's a lava stone inside, too. Okay? So it actually has just a lava a stone a lava stone inside. And instead, I mean, you could still scent the beads, but it's actually giving you some, you know, giving you the, the locket, too. Look how cute that is. I thought that was so cute. And then, again, you have the, the scent with you. Okay? But I think they're really cute. See, let's see if you can see the locket. The design. It's a little different on this side. Okay. So you have a little heart lockets. Great thing for Mother's Day, too. And then if you uh, get a bottle of essential oil to for scenting, you actually save money. So I could do a half ounce of, what are these? These are nine. And then I could do a half ounce of um, essential oil. Or actually, I'm sorry, two drams of essential oil. And it would be $15. Uh, $14, $14, yeah. So again, these are $9, the Lava Bee bracelets. And I have a couple pendulums here. 
I'm going to show you the two I have in stock. I can get many different crystals. In fact, I'm getting ready tonight. I'm going to be putting them up on my website. Um, again, my website is sweetearthherbs.com. You can shop anytime on there. The only difference is if you shop with me on Facebook Live, you get 10% off where on my store you don't. So that's the difference, okay? And my prices do differ on my Etsy shop, just so everybody knows, because I do better deals on the Facebook Live. So just so you know, um, you know, if you want to get something and save some money, you're better off coming on Facebook Live and getting it from me from there, okay? This is what you call a pendulum, if anybody is not familiar. This one actually is a black, uh, um, this is a tourmaline. A scratch in it, or is that the stone? Oh, that's the stone, huh? I thought it had a scratch in it, but that's actually the stone. Look how it has like a defined pattern in there. See, Let's see if I can get this here. There you go. This is a black tourmaline, okay? Black tourmaline is excellent for cleansing. I'm glad I did cleansing today because I'm coming across everything that's cleansing, okay? Black tourmaline is a very good protection stone. Black tourmaline, there's a difference between some protection stones and black tourmaline, okay? Black tourmaline not only protects you, but it reflects negative energy. Instead of reflect, a lot of, okay, let me go here. A lot of stones will reflect the negative energy back at what is causing it, Okay? Black tourmaline does something different. Black tourmaline will actually reflect the negative energy into the universe, transform it into positive energy, and send it back into the back into the, the universe. That's what I love about black tourmaline. The difference is that it will literally transform the energy into positive energy, where a lot of the other ones will just reflect it back at the person or thing that's causing it, and it's still staying negative, okay? And that's what I love about black tourmaline, that it does not do that. It literally reflects it into the universe and transforms it into positive energy, okay? The pendulums, I believe, are 12, I think. Oh, 11, uh, yeah, 12 bucks. $12, 10% off, okay? Um, I have black tourmaline and rainbow moonstone. One of my favorites. If I can get it out of the bag, it'd be even better. Okay. This is a rainbow moonstone. And you're going to have to forgive me because I don't have the actual properties of it. But I'm going to get it for you right now. You're just going to have to bear with me. Um, I know a moonstone... It rules by the moon, you know. <laughs> it's also good for, um, it's a very strong feminine uh, energy, for feminine energy. Give me one second, and I'm going to, going to, and it figures I probably, oh, there it is. I was going to say, where my crystal, I got all kinds of crystal books, and I now have one here, right? So, Moonstone, I'm going to tell you right now because I will look it up and give you a couple of things about Moonstone. And, again, if you if you hang out on my page, on my business page, I'm and, and my YouTube channel, you guys got to join my YouTube channel because I'm going to be doing so many videos and about things like this. So, this way, um, you know, because I, I just love teaching it. I, I really do. That is one of the biggest things I love, love teaching teaching about metaphysical spiritual psychic stuff you know so the moonstone the birthstone it's it's a birthstone for the cancer um um you know what i mean cancer birthday june yeah planet the moon the element is water and the chakra is the sacral chakra yeah okay michelle put it on your wish list oh, that's a good idea i think i'm gonna Oh, you just gave me a great idea. Thank you, Michelle. I'm going to start making people... Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm going to surprise you now. <laughs> I love that idea to give you guys an option of a wish list. That's a great idea. 
Thank you for that. Okay, cowrie moonstone to relieve the symptoms of premenstrual syndrome. Wear moonstone to prevent you from repeating negative patterns. Hold moonstone to soothe your emotions. Lie down and place moonstone on your sacral chakra to release energy blocks. Give moonstone as a gift to promote caring in relationships. Place moonstone around you to bring peace of mind. And keep moonstone in your bathroom to promote a youthful appearance. Pretty cool, right? Let's go to black tourmaline. Now I'm curious to see what it says about black tourmaline. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just saw it too. This is a pretty cool book. I'll show it to you in a second. Let's see. Pink tight, Merlinite. I have some Merlinite too. I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, it doesn't look like um, black tourmaline is in this book. Um, but this book is called uh, The Little Book of Crystal Tips and Cures. And it's by Philip per per Permut. Permut or Permut. I'm not sure. But Honestly, if you're going to get a crystal book, I recommend the crystal Bibles, okay? The crystal Bible, she has three, I think three or four now. I have the first two, and they are amazing. Like, they have so much information in them. So, if you're going to invest in a crystal book, definitely get the crystal Bible. What I'll do is I'll put a link to it in the, in the uh, comments, if you guys want to check it out. But there's like four. I, I think she came out. I don't know if it's the third or the fourth. I think it's the fourth. But yeah, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. All of them. Every, and every one of them has different crystals in there. Because there's so many. And then new ones come out. So it's like. They're you know. They're, it's constant going. And. It's there. It's just a great book to have on hand. Actually, when I go sell, like if I go to an event and something like that, um, it's okay, Michelle. Don't worry about it. I'll have them. If um, if I go to an event, I actually bring the um, the crystal Bible with me because of that reason. Because it has all the information that I need. Hey, Ashley, has all the information that I need in it. So. And that's what I love about that book, too. And I can, you know, I can, I'll put the link in, um, in the description when I'm done the video. And show you. But I have some really cool, um, uh, smaller, like, smaller than this. I have some really cool, uh, little obelisks coming in. Okay, they're probably... Probably half of this size, okay? But um, this actually is a fluorite. This one's mine. It's not for sale. I just wanted to show it to you so you could tell you about the crystals. Okay, this is a fluorite. This is green and purple fluorite. Purple. I love this because it's, it's literally split. Like, it's balance. This is what this reminds me of is balance. It's like yin-yang, you know? But I will, I do have some coming in that are probably, probably a little bit smaller than this. I, I should have them in a couple weeks. This is a clear crystal quartz. And the ones I'm getting are, are a little smaller, you know. So I'm, I'm trying to keep it, you know, affordable for everybody. So I have some altar cloths here too. This is actually a triple moon. Let me take one of these out so I can show you. Sorry about the bag sounds. I know that sound sucks on the camera. But this is these are altar cloths. These are good when you when you have an altar and you're doing spells. These are really good for, you know, depending on what you're doing. There's different colors. This has the triple moon and pen, and pentagram or pentacle. Okay, it has a Celtic pattern around the edges. And this one is uh 20, I think this one's 20, 20 and a half by 20 and a half. Yes, this one is 20 and a half by 20 and a half. And you just lay it like you could lay it sideways. And I actually have, uh, I think I have one laying over with my crystals. But 
I'm gonna have to use my phone next time so I can show you a little bit. Again, I wanna be showing you different things, um, different, you know, different days. It really depends on, you know, what's going on. And if, if there's anything that you guys wanna learn, I would really love, you know, or see, I would really love to hear about it in the comments what your interests are. Because I want, again, I want to teach you about things that, that you guys like, you know, you're interested in. So that was a purple, triple moon. And then I have it in red. I'm not going to pull this out because it's really hard to get back in the same exact way. Again, 20 and a half by 20 and a half. And the altar cloths are $12 each. Okay. So these are $12 each. Then I want to show you, I'm going to take this one out. This one's a little different. This is called the triple, uh, the pentacle pentagram goddess. That's why I thought it was a triple moon goddess. This is a pentagram, go pentagram goddess. Oh my God, if I was going to say it. And I'm so sorry about that plastic sound. I know that's annoying. I didn't even think to take them out. This one's 18 by 18, but I love this. I think it's so cool. Let me show it like, let me go like this. Look how cool that is. Isn't that awesome? I love the goddess in the middle of it. It's really pretty, too. And this has some fringe around the edges, too. Hi, Eileen. Okay, and that's an altar cloth. You can use it. Depends on, you know, however you, um, however you, you know, decorate or, you know, like I know my whole house is pretty much filled with crystals, you know, and, and stuff like this. So it really depends on, on what you like and what interests you and, you know, or if you have a specific place for your altar, you know, um, I have a specific place. And when, I, you know, when I say altar, you know, it's basically somewhere, what an altar is, is you're giving yourself a space to go to and pray or put your intentions in or do a spell or a ritual, Okay. That should be a private and, and space that no one else bothers and everyone in your family, including young kids, should learn to respect that because that should be looked at as a sacred space for you or anyone, even if you said your kids, you know, were, you know, acting up or something or they were having an issue, you know, you could share the altar with them. Usually it's, I think, I recommend everybody having their own altar because then you have your own private stuff that's meaningful to you on it but with kids it's different you know you can let your kids go there and and let them feel the peacefulness you know that's what it's about that's what an altar is about it's about going there and feeling peace and feeling connected to spirit or to god okay so <clears throat> i'm going to show you a few crystals that i have in give me one second and um I'm going to bring a couple over. Oops. Just drop one. Hold up. Just got to grab one more. Should have had these over there. But like I said, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, figuring it out right now. So. <laughs> All right. So. I have, now these are $2 each and three for five, okay? These are just basically rough crystals, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you the different kinds. But this size is, and then I have like this size. These are all $2 each. Every one is unique, okay? I can't say, oh yeah, you can have one that looks like this because they all, they're all completely natural. These are clear quartz. These are really, this batch is really cool. Love how it has like, it has like a frosted, I'm trying to see if you can see the frosted look. See how it has a frosted look on the edges. Okay, they usually don't come like that. that that's very cool. Okay. Okay. Then this, oh, this one's a little bit bigger. These are $2 each or three for five. Okay. Woo. Okay. This one has, there's somebody in there. 
but okay, then I have Garnet, and these are rough stones, by the way, too. They're called rough or raw, and that's why they're not all polished up and stuff. These are, oh, clear quartz. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you what they're for. Clear quartz is basically a master healer, okay? These are great for everything and anything, okay? They are great for connecting to spirit, okay? They're a great connection, uh, a great way to connect to spirit, too, meditate with raise your energy basically your it's like a white ray of light okay so clear crystal clear crystal cores are excellent stones if you're not familiar it's a great start a great way to start out with crystals is start with clear quartz or some basic ones until you get to know how to feel their energy <coughs> these are rough garnet and if you look you can see the red you see the red in there Okay, these are, are garnets. You can see the red coming through. See that? They're really pretty. Okay, they look, they look just like rocks, but they're not. They're actually, there's a load of garnet chips inside. And you can see them all around. They're all garnet chips. Okay. Then, let's see what Garnet does. I'm not positive. I, if I could remember everything, I'd be a walking metaphysical encyclopedia. <laughs> let's see what Garnet does, what they have in here. Okay. First stone is Capricorn, planet Saturn, element fire. Chakra is the heart chakra. Wear a Garnet to boost your vitality and make you more attractive to the opposite sex. Put a garnet crystal in your coin purse or wallet to attract abundance. Place a garnet at the head of your bed to ease depression. Carry garnet to reduce chaos in your life. And wear a garnet bracelet on your left wrist to draw spiritual ideas to you. Wear it on your right wrist to magically create change in your life. Pretty cool. All right. Now I have the other thing. Okay. Now, these are really pretty stones. These are orange calcites. Really bright and cheery. Uh, yeah, right, Miss? I can't remember what I did 10 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, these are orange calcite. These are really bright and really pretty and shiny. You could see it, like, try and get the light to... You can see how shiny they are, okay? These are like, it's like the sun, you know? Just think about the sun. I have the, have the description for these right here. Hold up. Okay, now, and then, I, I'm sorry, let me show you the blue, too. The blue, again, these are really shiny and really, really cool-looking stones. So there's orange calcite and blue calcite, okay? I love how it has, like, um, it's sort of, like, architecture it reminds me of like how it has it's very boxy these stones okay the the uh, blue ones you know they have like different shapes and stuff like that how they're cut they're very very boxy which is not common for not that I'm aware of anyway okay that's blue calcite okay so these both both of these stones they uh, are recognized for their action to clear block it, blockages and aid the removal of negative energy from the body. They assist with the elimination of sluggish energy. They're excellent to stimulate mental energy, which may improve your memory. Oh, look at that, miss. I'm holding the right stones. <laughs> improve your memory. And calcite crystals are known to help you to let go... <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, miss. I'm glad. Thank you so much. That makes me feel good. They're excellent to stimulate mental energy, which improve your memory. Calcite crystals are known to help you to let go of the past and step forward into the future. It's, oh, wait, it's Monday and Thursday. So you know, miss, Monday and Thursday. I am on Tuesdays and Fridays, but for paparazzi. So, but feel free to come on for that too. And the jewelry is only five bucks. I mean, this jewelry is amazing. I'm, I have it. It's all behind me. It's beautiful. It really is. 
Um, they also aid in mental faculties and useful to assist with emotional healing. They help clear negative energy, bring, bring an increase in the good vibrations. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm just going to like go like this and start shoving them on my earrings, hanging from my shirt and, you know, stack them around my neck. <laughs> so that's orange and blue calcite. Now I have some really, I love this. This is called a ruby zoistite. Okay, love this. Just got these in the other day. I love these. They're so sparkly. And they got these pretty purplish red. Ah, good. Come with, join me. Julie comes in. Julie comes in with me all the time too. So me, me, you, and Julie will be like a a, a crowd, a a group of us will be like charmed. <laughs> But look how pretty they are. Like you could, and there you go. You could really see the color in it there. Look how beautiful that is. Again, ruby zoistite. Now this, these, this one is bigger. So this one is a different price. This one, I think I priced this at eight. I think I priced it at eight. Yeah, we could do eight for this. Yeah. This one is eight. Okay, and it's a it's a larger piece, so you could see the size of it. It's a larger piece. I know that it's. I'm telling you, the the calcites. I think you're talking about, right? Yeah, there you go. The three mus. That's I couldn't think of it. Three Musketeers, <laughs> or or like Manny Mo and Jack, or something like that. <laughs> so Ruby Zoistite. Oh wait, I have that. I don't know if I have that one written down. Mm, 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 mm. No, I don't have that one written down right now. I have to. I'll, I'll have to post. Um, I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, the calcites. Yeah, I know. They're they're really good stones. Really good stones, and you can literally. That's another thing. You know, I want to have to write down some notes after I'm done, and write down what I'm going to teach you about. Um. Like, cause as I'm talking, I'm starting to realize like what different, what, like what I could teach you is about, like share with you is like different things, like how to use the crystals and how to cleanse a space and things like that. So, but you can feel the energy in them. Like when just holding them, you can feel the energy in the crystals. And that's something I want to teach you about too. I'm going to teach you about all this cool stuff. You guys are going to be so psychic. Psychic. It's psych to be psychic. <laughs> These are green aventurine. These are rough stones. Okay. Green aventurine. Yes, they don't look green, but they are, I promise. They actually have some brownish color in there. It's just part of the stone. This one actually looks a little bit more green, but they all come. Aventurine actually comes in different colors. But this one actually is is green. You could there you go. You could see the green there now. Okay. This one, I was just telling you about black tourmaline. That is the rough black tourmaline, just like the pendulum I showed you. Excuse me. Okay, the pendulum I showed you was was polished. Yeah, see that. <laughs> Hi, Joey. How are you? <laughs> okay. This is a black tourmaline. This piece is $10. This is a very, very cool piece. Actually, got to be really careful with some of it. But it has some, some um, quartz in there, too. Or actually, it has a, a mica or um, pyrite, it's called. And that's what the silver is in there. Okay. Really cool. This is the one I was telling you that transforms the energy into positive energy. And that's what these are. This is a desert rose. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of these. These are really cool looking. Love the way these look. I'm trying to show you there. Okay. These actually have selenite in them. I don't know if you could see the sparkles in there. Let's see. There's a lot of sparkles in there that you probably can't see on camera. But this has selenite in it. Selenite is very good to raise the vibrations, okay? 
but Desert Rose are really, really cool stones. Then, uh, oh, that's just another garnet that fell. That's another piece of the garnet. Let's see if you can see. You can see the red and the on the one side, you can see it. Are they pretty? Ain't that the Desert Rose, aren't they pretty? Then I have these amazing amethysts. These are actually ametrine, okay? And I'll tell you why. Amethyst and citrine is mixed together. That's what they call it, an ametrine. And the way that you can tell is because of the yellow in here, right, right in there. All this yellow is actually citrine, okay? Amethyst, look at look how cool that is. You can see the, the pieces hanging down here like this, and it just kind of goes up. And then this is all uh, citrine, this is all amethyst, and then, let me show you this one. This one's really cool too. These, this is all citrine and amethyst. Okay, this is all citrine, citrine and amethyst. Amethyst is a great stone for meditation, great cleansing stone, raising vibrations. Um, very similar to clear crystal quartz. Amethyst is a very high vibrational stone, very good for connecting to spirit as well. But I love these. Now these are a little bit more as well because the larger chunks are $10. These are 10 each because of the size and weight of them. Anybody see that guy right there in there? Who, who can see the guy? I'm going to start testing you. If I see him, he's, he's got his chin's right here, right here, and his nose is right there. Let me see if I got something to point with. Oh, there's his nose right here. There's an eye. There's an eye. Here's his cheeks. There's a cheek right here, a cheek right here, and he's... Oh my God, if I can point like this. His, his smiles, like, well, he's not actually smiling. He's got like a straight face. <clears throat> he's wearing a hat too, I think. This is all how I started seeing things this is in crystals. This is how I started with my psychic awareness. Can you see it, Jewel? You see him in there? Yep. There you go. See that? You see him. See that? I'm going to teach you this. Yeah. Yeah, looks like he has something. He's wearing it. There you go. See, good. I'm glad you guys see it. Yeah, yep, there's a little guy in there. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he's watching. That's what he's doing. He's watching the video. <laughs> um, Let me see. Let's see what we can see in here. Let's see. I saw something earlier in here. I... Well, yeah, he did have a beard, Jewel. Yep. Yep, he actually had a beard. Yep, that's what I say. He had a, he had, looks like he had it right here. He has like a little goatee beard or so. Or this this whole thing is his beard. Looks like it's white. Yeah, he's got very full cheeks. Yeah, like his this right here, like his rosy rosy cheeks right there, like full. Probably, you would be surprised. There's somebody right there. Yep. You see that it's like somebody with their eyes closed, just like looking for their just a profile. You would be shocked if you looked. Look, there's other people. There's there's another person right there. There's another. There's a woman right there, Egyptian woman. There's look at this dude right here. He's literally like three D. See his face, his head's right here, and his chest. And it's like he's coming out of the crystal. Yeah. Yep, yeah, rock man, right? <laughs> you would be surprised at what you can find in the crystals. That's something else I want to teach us about. I'm telling you, I should just teach us and not like not even worry about nothing else. It just teaches stuff. <laughs> There's so much that you can see in crystals. I got one for you. you ready for this one? Tell me that is it a beauty. Ain't they gorgeous? This is an amethyst. This is actually a chevron amethyst. That's why it has all these little designs in it and the white. That's a called chevron. Okay, you want to see some crazy stuff? 
Eh, you stare at this for a few minutes, you'd be staring it forever. You actually could see when you hold it this way, you see the doorways? And then there's somebody right here going through that one. There's actually doorways or cave entrances or to, uh, some kind of entrances. You see them? Right? And there's a path. Oh, there's another one right there. I can see that one. You see the other entrance, 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 entrance. And then there's people. There's people standing here. You can see them all. There's some down here too, different entrances. And look how the purple changes when I hold it in the light like that. See the purple up here compared? Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's amazing. Right? Then, this one I absolutely love, too. This is an Indian agate. Thank you, Jewel. I love it. I actually got that. These these are mine, these two big ones. And, and these, these guys, too, are mine. But I can... Um, I can always, like I said, if anybody ever wanted anything, you just let me know. I can get you. This is an, another smaller one, Rose Quartz. Look at that. You see that person in there? Looks like a police. Policeman. A policeman or something. He's got a police hat, cop hat on. Cool, right? Wait, I got something to show you. Look at this one. This is an amethyst, but look at the, look at this right here. Look at the look at how beautiful that is, all up here. When you look at it in the light, isn't it gorgeous? There's so much in this crystal. Wow, I'm telling you, there's so much. You could see like there's an arrow pointing up, going up. That's basically the, them telling you to where they're directing you. To show you stuff, to bring you messages, but you bring you are brought messages through crystals big time. There's a whole scene, a nature scene in here. Look at this guy right here. See him on the side peeking around. See him peeking around the corner. I <laughs> see him right there. He's like, "What's going on over there?" <laughs> there he is. Oh, he came out. There he is. See him right there. Pretty cool, right? But this one, I just love this one too. You can actually see, look at the angel. See the angel? Here's her head, here's her wings. And there's a, somebody else there, there's somebody else there. But the angel is coming up and, and it's funny because there's a big crack there, right? And that one, now it came like this, okay? I bought it like this and I, and I, Purposely, I mean, I saw that. I loved it. I loved the fact that it was there because it gives it style, it gives it character. And the thing is, is if you look, it looks like an angel is coming up and getting to these two people where this crack is. So if you look at that symbolically, it's like some, let's say, an angel trying to save or coming to save somebody from cracking. You know, let me think about it, cracking up or, you know, breaking down, you know. So there's a lot of different ways you can look at the stuff in these is, is symbolically. And then if you look, there's actually another, like a, a, a whole, there's somebody right there. I don't even know. There's, I, I can't really tell what it is yet. I'd have to really take a look at it. But it looks like some type of beings. I don't know what kind of beings it is. There's so many different beings in these crystals. Ain't they cool though? A lot of times, like I get, I actually get like words. Where, over here. This one, it's actually green. But yes, it, it's, um, yeah, right here. It's not a monster, it's a being. It's, um, I'll tell you in one second what it is. not a monster and you gotta remember there's a lot oh I'll tell you what it is I can see what it is right now okay look and you might have to refocus your eyes on this okay because there's actually a a wizard kind of guy here but then there's a little boy where'd he go 
right here. See this? The, the a, a guy or a boy has like a, a hat on, like a soldier's hat or a, a, an army um, helmet. Okay, right here. And here's his legs right here. And this is a dog. It's actually a dog. That's his, his ears right here. And then he's, he's got, see his collar right there? And he's sitting down, like his, his back, is like he's laying down with his head up facing forward. And this, these people are looking up at him. So a lot of times when you see stuff in crystals like that, it, it's, it looks like um, you got to kind of, okay, did you ever do a magic eye, um, like those magic eye puzzles or pictures that you focus in? And and everything starts to change and pop out at you 3D. That's what you have to do when you look at crystals. Because what you're doing is everything that pops right out at you is like, it's like me looking over there and looking at my book. But you got to like look in between the lines. As a matter of fact, like read in between the lines, in other words. Okay? Because there's so much more than you can ever imagine inside those crystals. You would be absolutely shocked. And I'm going to I'm going to start showing you guys this stuff. I really am. You know, I mean it's um I forgot to show you these too. I have a whole bunch of incense uh stick burners too. All different colors. Um but if you really look and 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 see, okay, the thing is, is you got to look with your third eye. You have to look from inside. Hi, how are you? Hola? Hola? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'll just call you Hola. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> but if you really look and look at everything in between what's popping out, right, popping right out at you, you want to look near that like here okay there's a house right here I don't know if you could see the house okay there's a house it looks like a Y actually there is a there's a word there so that they spell stuff out and every, there's stuff all kinds of stuff spelled out I want to start making up little lessons for stuff like this for opening your psychic um, your psychic awareness. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Um, and I'm still going to include some products and stuff, but I think that is probably the best thing. I think that's going to, I think that's what, um, what I want to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to put that, put together a couple, like some workshops for Facebook live and, um, and start teaching you how to do stuff. I think that would be cool. And if anybody has anything specific, again, that you just want to learn about, just feel free to let me know, okay? Or just post it in the comments, and this way I can, you know, I can I'll teach us about it. I love, I know I'm supposed to teach, you know, I know my, I'm, I'm meant to teach about this. And I'm meant to help people raise their vibrations and open their psychic abilities. Because if we don't, our world is going to go to shit. Okay, and we need, okay, Michelle, I would be more than happy to do that. I love it. I just absolutely love it. I'm actually um, in the process of creating some courses, online courses about it, but I can definitely teach, you know, some stuff on Facebook Live too. Um, you know, but we really have to, um, we have to wake up, you know, we, we have to wake up and teach our our kids so they can teach their kids because if we don't we're screwed our world and you know when you see those movies where where the world is dark and gray and nothing's growing well, guess what if we don't shape up our shit that's what our world's going to become you know that ain't no lie that's not that's not a lie at all because we have to wake up and start figuring out what is more important to us, okay? Is money more important 
or is your self more important or is love more important you know and that's what a lot of people don't realize you know and this is all the stuff I'm going to teach but there's there's just so much to it oh you would you would be shocked like how much there is to all this it, it's really crazy it really is like I've been going through what they call the dark night of the soul okay I don't know if anybody's familiar with that but it's basically when you're starting you're becoming you're you're on your way to your awakening to enlightenment and my dark this is the worst part of the dark night of the soul that I've ever experienced before in my life it's just crazy shit crazy shit that's something I'd have to I'd have to teach on you know go over it on a whole nother video but um just research dark night of the soul spiritual awakening and you'll see there's a lot of stuff you know and a lot of people think that they're going through some rough things when in actuality they're at they're they're transforming they're starting to and let you know become enlightened they're starting to open up their psychic abilities and a lot of times when we stay stuck in that mood it's because we're ignoring what spirit is trying to call us and wake us up and help us start to wake up and we're ignoring that because we're stuck in patterns and habits okay so a big thing is letting go of old patterns and habits and that means letting go of what you were taught as a child by your parents because a lot of our parents and our uh, previous generations um, have taught us the wrong way but it doesn't mean that they're bad it just means that that's all that they knew and times are changing you know just like for example racism you know back in what the 50s 60s 70s how they you know you know uh, you know the black people weren't allowed to do stuff you know and yes it could be Michelle absolutely could be you know but now you know and God forbid uh, there was interracial relationships back then now it's a totally different world you know and that's what we have to we have to help raise the vibrations up you know we have to help you know make people look at things differently and gather the people that are interested in changing and and just and just raise the vibrations because the more people that we bring together the higher the vibe that that are actually doing the things that like we're talking about now is going to raise the vibrations just doing that there's nothing else that we have to do except bring the lights together it's like saying okay I have I have a candle right it's not that bright but I have another candle now I'm gonna put them together and the lights gonna get brighter but now I have another candle yeah it might be a little smaller but that's okay because it's going to make the light even brighter see what I mean okay but then okay well you know what somebody I, I got somebody new that doesn't know anything but they're interested okay that might be small might be the smallest one there but having everyone there that one little tiny light is going to brighten up everything you see what I mean so it doesn't matter how knowledgeable that anybody is okay you could just be starting to become interested in it and that's great because you've already started to flicker your light the light that's in your heart and that that light is going to eventually shine so bright and they're going to help other people and they're going to join with other people that also have that light shining and it's good and it's so important it really is okay so I'm going to stop ranting on about the light right now until next time anyway <laughs> and I'm going to choose the winner of the incense <laughs> okay let's see who we got Michelle LeBerg you are the winner how am I going to get this to you though Michelle <laughs> it's going to cost me a fortune to ship it <laughs> In Canada I have to check shipping prices <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'll, I'll PM you. I'll private message you, Michelle. Okay? About that. Shouldn't be too much. Anyway, because it's not that heavy. But I'll show you it anyway. This is a box, the box of 20, and it's and it's hem incense, which are the excellent incense. I use these all the time. Giant's blood smells so good. You're welcome, Michelle. I'm glad you won. So these are Dragon's Blood. This is the one that I'm giving away tonight. Okay, it's a 20 pack of incense for Michelle. But just to give you, I have patchouli. Then I have come to me. Come to me now. Come to me. That's for spells, you know, when you want to have, attract something to you. Then I have, oh, the seven archangels. I got, let me, there we go. <laughs> seven archangels, okay. This is, attracts the angels, the seven archangels, okay. Oh, okay, cool, Julie. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's that's perfect. I thought it, it's only it's it's only it can't weigh more than two three ounces. So that's why I figured it shouldn't cost much. Then I have a white sage incense as well. I got lots of incense. Look at all this. This is a, my box of incense here. Some are doubles though. I got frankincense and mirror, which is my absolute favorite. I got one tra attracts money. These are all three seventy five each. Just so you know. Three seventy-five a box. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just, can I just stick my head in here to stay there for a while? Palo Santo incense and frankincense and mirror. I showed you that. Then I got regular mirror. Then I got Nog Champa too, which is a great one. Nog Champa. I don't know if anybody ever smelled Nog Champa, but it's amazing. It's a very, very strong. Scent, the Nog Champa. So it's like I, w I don't recommend it in a smaller space, but like if you had it like in the house, it would be great. Because I actually burned it in my room before and had the door closed because I don't let my cats in my bedroom, either any of my bedrooms actually. And it was too, I literally could taste it. That's like it was that strong. So if you do use like a Nog Champa, um, I would definitely recommend doing it in a larger space. The other ones are okay, though, in smaller rooms. I think that's all I have here. Oh, I got regular frankincense as well. But, again, I have... I am actually... As soon as I hang up with you guys, which is going to be in, within the next few minutes, I am going to... No problem. I sent puppy bins. Send paperwork for a breeder. Oh, do you work with animals, Julie? Yes, very rich and earthy. You're right, Julie. I didn't know if you, you work, you have to tell me if you work with animals. I'm an animal freak if you do. We have to get, we have to talk outside, off video. Because I know, we went to school together. You know? Like, I, I don't know if we ever really talked in school. But, um, I know we, I know you, I'm almost positive we went to school together. So, um. So, what was I saying? Um, dragons, but... Okay, yeah, we'll have to... Oh, oh my gosh, we gotta talk. I have to, I'll, have to, I'll talk to you after the video. Because I'm getting ready to, to um, end it, you know, finish it up now. But, um, what was I just saying? Okay, the, oh, I can get anything. If you're looking for something specific... Okay, I will, Julie, Definitely. Um, if you're looking for anything specific that has to do with metaphysical, spiritual, um, witchcraft supplies, anything, sage, herbs. I, I didn't even get to show you the herb boxes that I make. I'll do that next time. But I make these boxes of herbs where you get 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100 bags of herbs. I actually just got an order for 300 herbs I had to pack. That was crazy. Okay, and they're in the in the um in these bags. So I had to pack three hundred of them, different ones. <laughs> I have over eighty herbs in stock, over fifty essential oils, over fifty fragrance oils in stock that I keep here. So um 
you know, I make rose water, I make herbal oils, I have moon waters, like I got, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't even get to show you guys, I just showed you what I brought into the, into stock this week, um, but I didn't even get to show you the guys what I actually create with my own hands, you know, um, you know, there's different kinds of things, like here's a, um, this, this is really cool, I'm going to show you this real quick, where, before I go anywhere, this is what is called a witch ball. A friend of mine made this. I absolutely love this thing. What This is one is for um, letting go of the past and protection. Okay, I asked her to make me something that, that symbolized letting go of the past. It has all different herbs inside. Hi, Steve. How are you? Okay, it has some little decorations. It has feathers. Um, isn't it awesome? Okay. And, and then she has the, the um, arrow charm, which I thought was really cool. And then she wrapped it in some leather up top. And then there's another charm that says peace on top here. Okay. You hang it in the east facing window in your house. And that, that's the intention. I think these are so cool. I want to start making these. I love this so much. She does such a good job. And if you look, you could see the angel in there. You see the angel, the feathers? Actually reminds me of a Native American Indian. Like with the feather, you know, the feather uh, chief hat and the, the robe. Miss, maybe we'll get together and we'll make them. We can make them. I have all the stuff here. All we need is, are these balls, these uh, the glass balls. This is a, a glass one. I uh, You could do them with plastic. I don't recommend it. Like the plastic ones you get at Christmas time. But these are these are not expensive at all. You know, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it one, one day. We'll get together and we'll make them. Maybe Julie will come. <laughs> I am going to make them, Michelle. I really am. I'm going to start making them. And again, she makes them too. So if I had to get her to make them, I would as well. But I just love it. I just think it's so pretty and I hang it and you just put a hook at the ceiling and you hang it there from that, you know, the hook in the ceiling and hang it in front of the window. And it, and it does, and you know, it's it's a, it's a talisman or, you know, a, a um, an amulet of talisman, okay? Um, so, um, you know, I'm going to show you all kinds of stuff. I'm looking at it. It's like I got so much stuff that, you know, uh, it's, it's hard. You can't get it all into one day. And that's what I'm going to, that's what I was saying. I want to do a theme. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Joel. Yeah, well, I'll have to let the three of us say. Here we go. Three musketeers. Yay! <laughs> we'll get together and we'll we'll make them. That would be awesome. I would love that. Um, and, and I got like I'm gonna come up with themes. That that's what I think I'm gonna do. Like I'm gonna come up with a theme of like just say letting go of the past, just to throw something out there, and then um, come up with you know all the different things that you can use or do, or even if we actually set up an altar and did the intention, you know, or did the ritual on, on video, I think that would be great. So, but with that said, um, I'm going to go now and I'll be back on tomorrow night with paparazzi jewelry. And so if you guys want to join me, 7.30 to 9.30, Friday, tomorrow night, and 7.30 to 9.30 with paparazzi jewelry. I just got some jewelry, uh, some new jewelry in stock. Got more coming. I probably won't be here until next week, but I still got more coming. And um, I would love to have you there. Don't forget, Monday and Thursday is metaphysical training. Wednesdays is free tarot card readings. And, um, oh, wow, Michelle, is it? So you like to craft. That sucks. I know. I wish we would all get together. <laughs> So, and Wednesdays is free readings. You get to, add, add, you know, you share the video and tag a friend. You get to ask one question or just a three-card reading. And um, it went great last week. I just, I was sick this week, so I didn't really get to do them. Hi, Marina. I didn't really get to do them, uh, the readings this week. And Monday and Tuesday, I missed it. All right, miss. I'll definitely, I'll, I'll text, I'll message you my number. So this way we can get together. And then I'll message Julie, too. How's Marina? Good. Hi, Marina. I'm glad you came in. I'm just ending up. Just finishing up. 
But I'll be back on with paparazzi tomorrow or um, Monday. I'll be back on with the metaphysical stuff. So I start at 8, uh, 8 o'clock on um, Mondays and Thursdays doing the metaphysical stuff. And then Wednesday is the free readings. So if you want to come on, you know, the other days, that would be awesome. So thank you all for watching. And I'm so glad I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I will see you guys on, well, whoever comes to my paparazzi, I'll see uh, my paparazzi video. I'll see you tomorrow at 730. If not, I'll see you Monday at 8. All right. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Bye.